Thaishalmar Mathu Tarakan was a St. Thomas Christian merchant, social leader and minister who played a key role in Kerala. Especially in its Travancore and Cochin regions, in India towards the latter part of the 18th century and early 19th century. He relentlessly worked to bring about a reunification in his community which was divided into Catholic and Jacobite after the Kunin Cross Oath of 1653. He organized his community against the colonialist attempts of Portuguese and played a prominent role in the assembly of Catholic St. Thomas Christians at Angamali that paved the way for the establishment of independent Syro Malabar hierarchy. Mathu belonged to Alangan, near North Kuthiathode, in the present Paravur Talik of Ernakulam district. He was born into a prosperous Syro Malabar Christian family in 1741 as the son of Thaishal Tarayath and Kelparambu Udiyana. He did business successfully with the help of his father's friends, Ranga Shanoi and Narayana Shanoi, prospered, and the friends that he made during that period later took him to great heights. His powerful friends included Captain Eustachius de Lenoir, the Dutch commander who became head of the Travancore army and Raja Kesava Das. Through such friends, he got introduced to the kings of Travancore and Cochin. It was on 943 ME that Mathu Tarakan began his royal service. Mathu Tarakan thus became a leading trader and influential Christian leader, from among the Indian Syriac Christians of Kerala. He awarded a Thankakam pan that earned the king's appreciation and the king then awarded him the title Mathu Tarakan Muthalali Avarkal. The title Tarakan was granted by the king Dharma Raja of Travancore to indicate a noble trader. Mathu Tarakan was a merchant of timber, spices, salt, and tobacco, and was reportedly the first timber exporter from southern India. Mathu Tarakan was commerce minister to Maharaja Balarama Varma of Travancore. His best years were during the reign of Dharma Raja. He loaned a large sum of money to the kingdom to help fight its wars against Tipu Sultan. However, during the following period of Jainthan Sankaran Namputhiri's duneship, there was an uprising and revolt engineered by Velu Thampi. This led to Velu Thampi becoming the Dalawa in 1801. Velu Thampi persecuted Mathu Tarakan. He ordered confiscation of Mathu Tarakan's landholdings and assets alleging that he had to pay huge revenue arrears to the government of Travancore. This order was later cancelled by the British resident Macaulay. Veluthampi's subsequent revolt against the British led to his suicide in 1809 in Manati Temple, Adur. Balarama Varma repented the indiscriminate actions of Veluthampi and symbolically gave Tarakan a golden ear. Thaishal Mathu Tarakan made attempts at reunion of the Christian communities separated by the Kunin Cross Oath. But his efforts were apparently thwarted by the Portuguese. His efforts had the support of Mar Joseph Kariatal of the Indian Syriac Rite Catholics, and of Mar Dionysius I of the Indian Syriac Rite Orthodox faction, known as the Jacobites. But Bishop Kariatal's death in Goa and Rome's silence, ultimately led to the Indian Jacobites remaining separate and the Indian Syria Catholic accepting the jurisdiction of the Latin bishops in India. He was actively involved in organizing the historic journey of Mar Joseph Kariatal and Paramakal Toma Cotinar to Rome in 1782 for representing before the Pope the grievances of the Syria Catholics. Tarakan was instrumental in organizing an assembly of the Catholic St. Thomas Christians in Angamali St. George's Great Church, that enacted the Angamali Pagiolo on February 1, 1787. This assembly protested against the colonial subjugation of the native Christians and strongly urged for the consecration of native bishop among them. Thanks for watching.